Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going on to a Disney cruise. We are going on to the fantasy. That is the wish behind us, but we're going on to the fantasy. It's so exciting. It's my first ever Disney cruise, so I don't know exactly what I expect. I'm a little blind, but also I kind of know what we're doing, so it's kind of going to be interesting to see what we're doing, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little blind to it, so I don't know what we're doing exactly and how to prep for a cruise, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be really fun. So join me, and right now we're just gonna be waiting in the terminal for like an hour until we can get on, so that's not too bad. They have this epic model of the magic right here, and look how cool that is. Like, you can't see everything on it. You can even see a movie playing on it, how a goofy short going. I can't believe, I wish I could show more like the pools on top. It's really cool looking, and I just, I can't believe it. This is really cool. I'm, I love miniatures, I think they're just so fun. I'm horrible at making them, but I really enjoy them. Let's see if we can see. Do they have a little... They do! That's so cool! So on the back, they usually have like characters on it. Ours has Dumbo, but for the magic, they have Goofy on it. Look how cute that is! That's a really cool, like, scale model. So me and my nephew were walking on, on the other side. There's even a full model from inside the boat, which is really cool. You can see like the feeder right down there, the dining room, and all sorts of different things in it. It's really cool. You can see like just like the little art. Oh, like there's the main area, like the main staircase and elevators right there. That's so cool. I'm very impressed. I'm not even on a boat yet. Oh, we gotta go through this giant Mickey portal. All right, we're entering the boat. Look how exciting this is. It's even magical on the ground, it's sparkly. I guess the ship, it's not a boat, it's a, it's a ship. This is so exciting. We're on. Oh my goodness, it's Mickey and Goofy. It's so Halloween. That's awesome. We're on top of the boat right now. Look at them. They're all just hanging out, being all excited. I love all the fall decor. And what's this arriving? All right, so we're here doing the open house of the Oceaneers Club. And this is really cute. This is Andy's room. They're playing Toy Story, Bo Peep, and all of them are here. Rex. That's super fun. And super cute, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we were checking in my nephew first, and, and we were just like, oh, look how cute this is. They even got a Mickey Mouse watch on the wall. Oh, they got a whole Star Wars area. This area is cool. Oh, this, it looks like Galaxy's Edge, which is really cool. Let's see what they got over here. They even got holograms going off of R2 units and stuff they can mess with. It's really cool, actually. I'm impressed. I'm kind of jealous of the kids, to be honest. And then, like, there's Star Pilot training. And then you head over here and go to Pixie Hollow, which has, like, coloring and all sorts of different things also. You can tell it's built for kids because my hair and head are just barely that close to the ceiling. It's really fun. But this is super cute. And they just have a whole bunch of like classes, science projects, art projects in here. This is great. And it looks like they have like a Pirates of the Caribbean over here. And also they got a Wii, which is awesome. <laughs> I mean, one of my first scenes in Leo Stitch. It's kind of cool, they have like animation studios. So you see like all these models over here going through it. It's really cool. Something cool about the stages in the kid area, it like shoots off like paint off where you're standing. Like, that's so cool. And then into the Superhero Academy, which is like Doctor Strange and all that. That's really cool. Oh, it's just a couple of books. That's awesome. Just a little bit of Doctor Strange magic. That's awesome. I'm kind of jealous of the kids, honestly. 
They even have ciphers over there. And there's like, you can change like portals right here. That's awesome. So, we just got done in the kids area. That's really cool. So they're doing open house. So usually we don't get to go like into that area, only kids do. But since it's an open house, it's kind of cool. We get to check out. Also, it smells like fall in here. So that's really cool. They have like fall scents. Because Halloween time, and it's great. All right, we get to be in the glass elevators that you see throughout the cruise. Oh, you got Pluto going. Also, we made it to the top of the boat. Look, and there's the aqua dot up there. That's awesome. Even the plates are cute. They have different things. We, like this one has three, uh, surfboards. This one has a sand castle. All right, so we are in the buffet right now. And I didn't know it was unlimited, so I grabbed a little bit of everything while I was just walking by. And apparently, I got told halfway through, so. So I have a little bit of everything. So it looks good, though. All right, so I got a piece of pumpkin pie and like Oreo cheesecake. It looks really good. I'm sorry. I finished everything else, and it was pretty good. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the lamb chop, but everything else was fantastic. It's kind of cool, just like on every four you'll see like random characters or statues around. It's cool. So we were walking through the treat shop, and look how cute this little photo op is. It's so fun. Like, it's so cute. Like, I want this as a statue. All right, we made it into our room. It's a little tight, but we finally made it in. I don't know how to turn off the TV, so it's just going over mercy stuff. But kind of fun, cute. There's her bed. Well, my parents are sleeping there. I get the cool futon. But it looks like there's also a bunk bed, I believe, if you just swipe pull. I don't know how exactly that works, but there's a bed up there. There's a futon. But nice little like sea area and stuff. Um, we paid a little bit extra for these, which is cool. And then just nice cabinet room. Let's see. I like the art piece, all the different bows with Steamboat Willie. Well, it's missing the new one. Oh, maybe. Am I wrong? I don't know. Little light switches in and around every corner. Now let's see, I think these are the bathroom. There's a step up into the bathroom. Not bad. Hi, there I am. Oh, I'm already a little sunburned. You can tell I've been out in Florida. <laughs> but not bad. I mean, there, there you go, there's a height difference. That's, that's how it feels about being the whole cruise, is about that height for me. And then a step down. Oh. And I think this is the shower? Maybe? Oh. Oh, so it's not just like a bathroom slash shower. It's like a little privacy area. So toilet and shower separate. Whoa, look at these. You won't see these anywhere else. They got H2O for you. They stopped making these, so that's kind of cool. Then in their bathroom. Stuff, makeup remover, which is actually nice. Some towels. This is cool. Let's see. Um, hangers. Um, I think that's a step stool if you get, oh, maybe like a pants thing. I don't know. I just that. Oh, it's a step stool for the bunk bed. There we go. I was like, what is that for? Then here, you got laundry bags, a safe, life vest. It's fun. I, I like it. I'm going to shut that so I don't. But, oh, also something that's interesting, um, you have to put your key card in for the room or else all the power goes out. Yeah, something along those lines. So it conserves power when you're in here. It's a lot more roomy than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Uh, there's outlets over here. There's like two. And then USB ports, which is also very nice. Um, I don't know if there's outlets or... Oh. Yeah, there's, by the, like, beds there is. So that's nice. But that's kind of it, and then I'll show you the balcony. And here is our veranda. This is a nice little area. Um, if we had a conjoining room, you could always use it, like, on one side or the other and open them up. But this is a nice view. It feels nice, relaxing. You hear people above. All right, we're about to watch the sailway party. It's gonna be very exciting. Oh, 
Clouds don't look as friendly as I would hope they would be, but at least we gotta do the Selway party. So, you know, it feels great with the wind. <laughs> oh, look, it's Stone's butt. I finally gotta see it. I was wondering how to get up here, so we finally got up here. That's so funny. I'll probably be up here a lot more, honestly. This is awesome. And finally head out. Like I said, never been on a cruise, so we'll see how this goes. Also, sorry for the wind. I know it gets pretty breezy up here. Also, those clouds are going so fast right now, it's crazy. It, they do different horns, I didn't know that, that's so fun. They're raising the flags right now, which is kind of cool to see. I don't know if I'll catch this one, but they're racing them, and woo, that wind. All right, here comes the rain. We are barely avoiding it for the party, so that was nice. All right, we're passing by the beach and pretty much just the last little bit of land for a while. So here we go. So we're right by the aqueduct and we're kind of walking around the kind of top of the boat right now, just kind of checking out because we haven't done that yet. And no one else is up here. So there's the exit of it, which I can't wait to go on that. Maybe we'll do that today or tomorrow. Maybe not today because of, you know, the weather. But oh, there's a little aqua lab. It's a little splash zone. Fun. That's really cute, actually. I, I like that. Let's go on the splash pad, Jay. And then they have a basketball court up here. That's cool. A little sports arena. And then they have a little miniature golf course, which for sure we're doing this. Hey, let's just and here's the back of the boat from the top angle. So that's cool. Ooh, it's starting to rain. We're maybe going to try to get inside. But there you go, we're, we're almost avoiding the storm. We're so close. So this is close right now, so I, I didn't want to film anyone while they're on it. But you can kind of see, like, it's a little Finding Nemo area. Like, it's super cute. I don't know how I feel about Marlin, like, spitting on you, but I love the puff and stuff. And there's, like, a Mr. Ray over there that, like, it's a slide. So we're waiting for our dinner, but I want to show off this beautiful thing, a mini right here. It's gorgeous. And then we had the giant pumpkin tree, which is so fun. I really like that. And it's just a great time. I'm really excited about being here. Oh, also, Captain Mickey, he's adorable. Absolutely adorable. So we're gonna go have dinner in the Royal Court, and it's very, like, nice. Also, something I really about, like about this cruise is, like, you clean your hands all the time. All right, so we're starting off with some fancy like olive dip and some bread, which is great. I'm really excited to try it. It's, it hurts very olive-y. So we got bread brie. We got escargot over there, which looks interesting. Looks sluggy. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, I'm going to try it. I'll try it. But I'm excited to try this first. All right, I'm going to try escargot for the first time. Actually, the flavor is a lot better than I was expecting it to be. 
I thought I was going to explain chewy. But it's not bad actually. Actually, I think it's good. So honestly, I don't know if I would get the whole thing, but it was really good. I like it a little bit more than mine, honestly. And I forgot to film this before, but I already started taking a couple bites. And yeah, I got potato soup, which is just really good. It's pretty simple. I don't know if it's the best potato soup I've had though. So I just got the Shata steak, I think that's right. And it looks really good, like the presentation looks great. And I just can't wait to dig into those. That steak was so good. Like, and the potatoes, like everything about it. I'm not a big green bean, but I tried a couple and they're good. But man, that was so good. And this like extra sauce was, it worked really good with the steak. So if they offer it to you, do it. Okay, I got the crambouille right here, and that looks so good. And it looks like you can even tap it, which is good. So, yeah, so we're good. We're good. It looks great. I can't wait to try it. So, I'm trying to get to the line of the tree. I have two minutes. Um, but look how cute these pumpkins and like the windows are. They're really cute. Okay, I think I might make it. I see flashing lights, so fingers crossed. It was a lot more busy. Now expecting. All right. Well, this is what I get for showing up late. It is a very far back view, but I'm excited to see it. Oh, here we go.
near to Harry Town. On the dark nights from that day to this. <laughs> Luckily for us, the horsemen cannot swim. <laughs> or can you? things it's just like these paintings just come alive when you just go by them like and I can't tell you where the sensor is oh, maybe I can but I still think it's really cool like what a fancy little thing so there's this whole fish hook thing and my sister's right next to us so we're gonna do it for my nephew look how fun that is so cool it's so odd. It's like completely empty, but Stitch and Goofy are just walking around. We also saw Chip and Dale, Rapunzel. This is crazy. All right, so I'm actually going to end the vlog here for tonight. It's been a fun night. Um, it was a little abrupt stop to that at the very end, but we went and did some trivia, like a music trivia thing, and then watched like a family against family thing. It was an inside out thing, and we got Meet Joy, which was really cool. Then we just came up on the upper deck and just watched the movies. It's been a really fun day and I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. It's technically midnight here right now so it's really quiet. It's like a ghost town on here and it's really weird. I think there's like maybe 20 people on deck which is crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and head on inside our room. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see where we decide to run water next. <laughs>